And what do you say? You're gonna give me a whirl? <laughs> how many? How many of those did you drink? Come on, let's give these tosses something to talk about. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Are they all appalled? Will your eyes still yes. smile from your cheek? <laughs> yeah. Move closer. You smell fantastic. <laughs> you know you never would have let those breasts so near to me if I was in a wheelchair. <laughs> yeah, well, you never would have been looking at these breasts if you hadn't been in a wheelchair. <laughs> of course I would. No, you wouldn't. You wouldn't. You would have been too busy looking at the leggy blondes, the ones you can smell an expense account at 40 bases. And anyway, I would have been over there serving the drinks. One of the invisibles. Am I right? Yes, but in my defence, <laughs> <laughs> I was an arse. <laughs> yep. <laughs> You know something, Clark? You are pretty much the only thing that makes me want to get up in the morning. So, and I was actually wondering, you know, like, because you guys are in the movie, how is it for you to watch it, you know, the final product? Is it hard for you to, like, not cry, or is it just, you know, would that be stupid? <laughs> it's, uh, it's the weirdest thing ever. I mm -hmm. have an allergic reaction to watching my own face. I don't enjoy it. Okay. So sitting through it was... I within the first kind of 10, 15 minutes, I was like, okay, Amelia, you're in it for a little bit, so you should just get used to it. Yeah. And then when I let that go, I just... Um, the first time I cried, because I remembered how much fun we were having. <laughs> um, and it was like, oh, the beautiful moments. And then I watched it a second time in a kind of slightly different cut. And then I found myself being entirely swept away by the story and, yeah. and cried like a baby. Oh, okay. Yeah. I, 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 I'm strong. Um, <laughs> no, I think similar to Amelia, I think the first time you see anything that you do, I think a part of me can't fully let go of seeing me mm -hmm. doing it. And, you know, so I, I'm I'm very hypercritical and very insecure. Yeah. So I kind of sat there going, why did I pull that face? Why did why You know, I wasn't yeah. really... So I asked Thea if I could watch it again. And the second time, yeah, it, I mean, yeah, it, ch it chokes me, but I feel like I'm so attached to it, I can't fully let go of myself and, you know, n remember, like, each individual moment and... But the thing is, when we were filming, mm -hmm. that was a different story. I, I basically cried every day. Yeah. Um, every single day. I think it's very rare um, for me, personally, to, to un you know, unleash <laughs> my, my emotions properly. Um, but there was, there was a moment, one specific moment in particular, where I, I started sobbing and uncontrollably uh, in, my, in my dressing room on my own. And I think there was some, I unlocked something and I think that's sort of down to Thea and Jojo and this amazing uh, sort of uh, right hand, uh, uh, not assistant, but someone who helped with the acting, I guess you could say. Mm -hmm. uh, her name was Jill McCulloch and she sort of pushed me. So yeah, technically she's a dialect coach, but she... She was just, yeah, she pushed me out and yeah. I think unlocked something I'm and I just yeah there was a release basically and you know like three weeks ago I actually almost I thought I was gonna die I saw a car behind me come in the traffic came to a stop I was stopped and the guy didn't see that the traffic stopped so I looked into my mirror and I said this is it you know I didn't see my life flash by but I would like to know has there anything been like that in your life where you were very close to death at all mm. is there anything like that yeah I um, was in a car accident and the car plowed into the side, like just behind my driver's seat and spun me around. And I, all I remember is everything going in slow motion. Like in films, you yeah. know, there's always that moment and all the lights are flashing. I, I just remember kind of not knowing what was happening. Yeah. Just being helpless and just sitting there going, right, this is it, Simi yeah. you know, this is it, this is it. I get goosebumps think about it. Um, I, you know, of course I didn't and everything was fine and I got out unharmed as the yeah. other driver and it was all fine. But. Um, yeah, that's it. So it's amazing how quick it happens in our movie. Mm. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, it makes yeah. you realise that you know it, it, you have no idea what's around the corner, and you know you should make the most of life while we. While yeah, exactly. And that's exactly yes. what I was going to ask you guys because you got to live life to the fullest. So what do you guys do? Is there anything you know? It can be over in a second, like you said. So what do you do to live life to the mm -hmm. fullest? Yeah. Well, I get to do what I love all the time. Yeah. So I'm living life to the fullest in that sense. Um, and where possible, I'm, I, I try and do as much as I can in a day. Mm -hmm. Like I had my mate visit me when I was, when I was in um, LA this last time. 
and he was with me and he was like, Amelia, you've just done more in your day than I do in a week. Mm. Like your morning <laughs> was an accomplishment for me. I believe it. So I like to try and do as much as possible. Yeah. Um, yeah. I like, I just, I just, and I also make a, I always have a, a yearly list of things that I want to kind of have done. Like a checklist. Like a checklist. They can be spiritual. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I, I, I sort of feel like um, I'm living a dream that I never thought was imaginable or a possibility mm-hmm. when I was from when I was a kid. So, I, you know, I, I, I try to enjoy what I have um, in every sense, you know, in every sense of the word. I sort of make the most of what it is I have and try to, yeah. I, I guess, sort of try and embrace embrace the dream yeah um as opposed to sort of trying to constantly i don't i don't want to constantly look for something to better my life i feel like i'm living a very very blessed life and i want to make the most of what i have at the same time you know there are so many things that i want to do but i don't feel like i need to do Mm -hmm. if you know what i mean and i feel like if you constantly search for for that that you know need to kind of Mm -hmm. always um, better your life, then you, you you that's not that's not living boldly. I think you should live within your means, but like push yourself yeah. and just sort of grow that little bit each time. 